All right, I'm gonna try to show you our saddle setup. That's all the options we have. And if Roy agrees, which he currently doesn't seem to, we're gonna put them all on. Before I show you the saddle setups that work for Roy, I wanted to give you an example of how a horse should not move under a fitting saddle. While I do have a preference for treeless saddles, and am more than happy to elaborate on that in a different video, the fact that this saddle is treed did not cause Roy's discomfort or reluctance to move. The sole reason was the incompatibility with his shoulder width. His discomfort very obviously showed up in head tossing, abrupt stops and body shaking. But especially interesting in my view is how he attempts to lift his back when going into trot, but then cannot sustain lifting his withers due to the saddle being in the way. So he falls into a flat trot with his hind end falling behind tremendously. All right, we're gonna start with the total contact saddle and dressage pad version of the saddle. And that's basically just your average dressage pad and a half pad. Mine has this nice grip. Yeah. girth that I stole from my friend. And this is what it looks like all set up. without the stirrups of course. As you can see he's more than happy to canter in the total contact cell. His trot, the most important gait to test because I'm using the stirrups most, is very smooth uphill with a soft spinal curve and he's stepping under. No head shaking or dropping off the back. But that is not all. I have tested this setup on longer rides too such as this one and he was happy and comfortable throughout. The second setup includes the total contact saddle as well, um, but this time I'm using this ordinary western pad because it's nice and fluffy. Yes. I have to remove the girth first from the saddle before I put it back on because he does not like the girth flapping. And that's the second total contact saddle setup without stirrups. With the western setup, Roy is moving as happily as ever, and you can even watch him catch himself without trouble as he stumbles through gates. Roy has not tested the western pad on a longer ride yet, but there's a simple explanation for this. It's due to the fact that my friend has been stealing it for almost all rides since I own it. My third saddle setup is a torsion treeless saddle. This one with a GP pad and a half pad that is shimmed. Half 
pad is there to support the trailer saddle so that the weight is distributed in the areas that it's supposed to be distributed in. Fluffy girl. Good job. Oh, that is too tight. Yep. I'm sorry. I need a different girl for that. Yeah, so this is the setup of the torsion trailer saddle without a girth and stirrups because I have neither at hand, at least not a fitting girth. Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, Roy has no trouble moving under rider with the saddle, even dashing sideways and downhill. Excuse the shaky footage, I was running alongside a crackhead mare while filming this. And here's an impression of how happy Roy was with this saddle on a longer ride. I'm gonna scratch post now. Now oh, that worked well. And forgot my mounting block. No, no more.